Okay. Uh, hey there. Um, you may have noticed that in these beep videos, I'm, I'm not really sweating the, the audio quality. Uh, I figured that if there's a lawnmower or like there's probably a piano lesson going on, there's always music in my house. So instead of, you know, giving myself um, oodles of frustration by trying to deal with like the perfect audio recording, I'm just saying screw it and we'll, do, we'll deal with whatever comes. Um, so anyway, uh, this particular example, what we're going to do is add some physical controls to Beep. Um, and I have this little... I have this sequence going. And um, again, a standard subtractive synthesis uh, signal flow, not a lot going on. Um, but uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll add, a, we'll add a MIDI controller to like control our filter. So I happen to have this Korg Nano control, which I'll, I'll plug in here. And this is a MIDI controller, so uh, we're going to need to add a module to bring MIDI into our project. So I will add beep, and then MIDI, and MIDI in. And this allows us to choose the port or device of the controller that we're interested in. And hey, check it out. We do want the, the nano control, which is this thing right here. Um, this sends out MIDI continuous controllers, so uh, I'm going to I want to convert the MIDI continuous controller into a signal that we can use to control beep. So uh, if I go to my MIDI, uh, I can select, um, oh, what am I looking for? CC MIDI, CC to signal, that's it. And I'm going to plug that right into the MIDI output. Now you'll notice these MIDI modules are green and the regular beep ones are blue. Um, I don't know what controller numbers this thing puts out, but um, if you'll notice on my screen, um, whenever I move a knob, it kind of it tells me, hey, that's controller number four, 14 rather. So uh, I'm going to set this to uh, 14. Oops, 14, there we go. And this should output a signal. And we can verify this um, by using a different kind of scope. I'm going to use the voltmeter. Uh, it's like a little virtual voltmeter that, um, if I can find it under here. Um, try that one more time. Uh, beep, scope, voltmeter. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's just like a little virtual voltmeter. We have a voltage coming out of this, and so now, now that I plugged this in, I have a unipolar uh, signal that I can use to uh, control my filter. So uh, let's do that right now. I'm going to take this and plug it into. Uh, let's plug it into CB2. And so if I unmute. again. Uh, so that's one way of doing it uh, with the standard MIDI controller, but uh, if you've downloaded Beep, you may have noticed that there's this entire suite of Monom stuff built into uh, Beep that allows you to, to convert various Monom signals into, into control voltages. Uh, so let's do the same thing with this, with this uh, ARC controller. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this MIDI stuff that I added, and I want to add there's kind of an analogous to the, the MIDI input, and that's the, um, the Monum uh, Serial OSC module, which is just the, the standard um, Monum Serial OSC. So I select my device, and it's connected to it. And now this is going to send out Monum messages that beep modules understand. Uh, so the thing that I'm interested in, in this case, uh, is something that's going to generate a DC um, control voltage for me. So if I take the output of that, and this, you know, one, two, three, four is specifying which knob I'm going to use. And let's look at this also with a, with a scope. Scope, uh, again, I can't, I can't see it when it's down there. Um, beep, scope, and voltmeter. All right, so I plug this in. And when I turn this knob, I should have some control, and I do. Um, I can change the amount of resolution that I have available. So I, I'll boost this up a little bit. 
and that's a little bit better. And let's hear what that sounds like. I'll just take this through. Oops. You know what? I'm going to take the signal out of here because I might need that space on my screen later. So uh, that's cool, but you know the nice thing about the modem is there's these rings, and it'd be really cool to get some feedback on that ring. And there happens to be an analogous module that converts a signal into um, ring messages, and this is called arc ring. And you can set the update rate and the range of it. So this is sending information to the modem, so I go out there, and so I'm just going to take the same signal that we're sending to the filter and bring that to the input of the, of the arc ring module. And again, you can select which ring that you're going to use. You can specify how big the ring is that you want. That should be, that should be fine. And so now it's going to give me an indicator. All right, that's awesome. Uh, let's do the same thing for resonance. And I'm just going to take these two modules and make a duplicate of them and plug them both into the same monom device since it's still the arc that we're work working with. And I'm just going to change the, the knob. So these are both sending and receiving the two. And I'll give myself a little bit more resolution on the resonance. And I'll also, yeah, I already have my control voltage uh, raised on that. And also, I need to send a signal to my control voltage. So this will allow me to apply resonance knob to my sequence. All right, cool. Uh, let's try one other one other quick example, and again we'll use another uh, ring on the arc. And I'll make another copy of this. And instead of like just making directly generating a DC voltage, what we'll do is we'll have it um, we'll have it control an LFO. And so I'm not going to take the signal right out right out of the arc DC, um, but I will use that to control a voltage controlled LFO. So let me add that uh, LFO. I want a CV LFO. And the signal from this is going to go into the CV input, so I can control the rate. I'll turn the rate down a little bit first. Oops, not that far. A little bit faster. Ooh, that should be good. And I'll plug this into CV1 input. And I want full amount of CV control, so I need to turn that uh, attenuator up. And so let's listen to the effect that this has. All right, let me turn up the, actually, I can turn up here. Oops, oops, oops. Three, again, there we go. Okay, so we can now hear the effect of that LFO. But um, here's going to be the difference. I want the, the LFO to control the LED feedback. So I'm going to take the output of the LFO, and that's going to be the signal that controls the LED feedback. And I want it to be, I'm going to plug this into the monom. And it's only using half of this, but it's a, a bipolar signal. So I'm going to change this to bipolar so I can use the complete range.
Okay, so that, that satisfies everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, I hope you found it enjoyable, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.